Welcome back to the course Scrum Applying the Art of the Possible. In this video, let us explore the principle Embracing Change. Let us begin with the question Why embrace change at all? After all, isn't it a bit like willingly giving room for scope creep? Well, let us look at it from a different perspective. As discussed in an earlier video, the ideal target project for Scrum falls within the complex or complicated problem domain. What this implies, therefore, is that Scrum project often involves uncertainties in requirements as well as implementation approaches, or in other words, varying degrees of uncertainties exist in both the what and the how space. In an enterprise environment, this usually stems from dependencies on factors which are not within the direct influence or control of the project at hand. These factors, among other things, include dependencies on other ongoing projects, enterprise release cycles, technology disruptions, innovations, trends and other market forces, regulatory environments, and so forth. Scrum is suitable for these kind of processes because as opposed to more traditional anticipatory and sequential or plan driven approaches, Scrum does not attempt to foresee all of the requirements that would come into play over the entire span of the project, simply because that mode of working has been proven to be a model for failure. Hence it adopts embrace and change as one of its core principles. Scrum concepts such as empirical process 